You've been in pain for years, and you have been diagnosed with degenerative disc disease, ruptured or bulging discs. Maybe you have been told there is nothing that can be done. Perhaps you tried minimally invasive surgery to remove some of the disc or bone structure, or you've been told that the only option is fusion surgery. Normally the gold standard in spine surgery in patients with complex degenerative disc disease has been in the last years the fusion surgery. Now there may be another option. We have a development of new implants, it's called artificial discs, and the goal is to protect and restore the movement of the spine and uh, also give back the patient's normal life quality. Some surgeons have referred to fusion surgery as disc replacement, but there is a huge difference. The difference between fusion and artificial disc replacement is fusion surgeries will be more invasive in surgical techniques and you will have more time for reconvalescence in patients and in artificial disc replacement you can restore the movement of the segment and the patients can go back to normal life quality in shorter time. As many as 50% of fusion patients get no relief or are worse after surgery, and those that are considered a success can expect accelerated degeneration of adjacent discs and the likelihood of future surgeries. And yet, the number of fusion surgeries is on the rise in the U.S., even though disc replacement has been developed and used for many years outside the U.S. These disc replacement patients are able to return to many activities which define their quality of life and may have been considered as lost before they discovered disc replacement. Over the past 20 years, disc replacement technology has evolved greatly. Early designs had two metal plates with a plastic core. Although the results were far better than fusion, these implants had high revision surgery rates due to implant migration and plate subsidence. Later, two-piece ball and socket designs with improved end plate attachments made revision surgeries a thing of the past and eliminated the plastic cores. The evolution in the last years was to come from discs that have two functions of the normal disc, height and movement, to new generation of implants that can make also a shock absorption. The latest disc replacement technology achieves the goal of replicating the human disc and providing quality of motion by now providing shock absorption and constrained motion in all directions. Led by the world-renowned orthopedic surgeon Dr. Karsten Ritterlang, the surgeons at Stenham have helped thousands of patients achieve better results with less complications and quicker recoveries. These patients also return to a more active post-surgical lifestyle than those who have had fusion surgery. My experience started in a charity hospital in Berlin in the late 80s. Now I performed nearly 2,000 surgeries with more than 2,500 implants. And my personal experiences are we see good results not only in one level surgeries, we see it also in two level or three level surgeries. Also we see good results in combinations with fusion and artificial disc replacements, we call it hybrid situations. Because disc replacement surgery requires specialized surgical skills, having a surgeon with the experience and the dedication to this procedure is critical. Choosing the team that is going to do your disc replacement is also of crucial importance. The team at Stenham is well trained with the latest disc replacement technology, is experienced and is performing that procedure frequently. Experience has proven that a surgical team that does more of a specific procedure will have less complications and better outcomes for their patients. The main indication is degenerative disc disease with or without herniation or bulging with back pain, neck pain and radiating pain and other good indications are patients with previous surgeries like dysectomy with a post-dysectomy syndrome or after fusion surgery when we have adjacent level problems. As a result of the delays to the introduction of new medical technologies into the U.S., many Americans are now traveling abroad for a host of surgeries. This trend towards medical tourism is also true with disc replacement. 
Uh, I was offered a three-level lumbar artificial disc replacement surgery, L3-4, 4-5, and 5-S1, which was completed in 2005. I was given great personal care and was able to return to all my physical activities, horseback riding, bicycles, jet skis, downhill skiing, and no pain, absolutely no pain medication whatsoever. In summary of my experiences, I see a clear advantage in artificial disc replacement over fusion surgery. If you or someone you know suffers from degenerated, ruptured, or bulging discs, there is now a better solution.